guys, it's Rachel and welcome back to my channel. Today I am super excited for this video because we are doing an ultimate planner guide. I personally love planners. I think they make a busy schedule so much more fun and manageable because there's just something really satisfying about like looking at your planner and seeing everything laid out and color coded and cute and all that stuff and it just makes you a lot more motivated to get everything done and stay productive and all that good stuff. And before we get started, I want to say a huge thank you to Avery for sponsoring this video. You guys know I had so much fun making the Hello Kitty cookie jars and I'll link that video down below if you want to check it out but I had a lot of fun playing with their labels and making those jars so when they invited me to check out some of their planner accessories I was like of course so excited expectations so high and like if my expectations were here like this is what the labels are they're so cute guys like if you see them I'll put maybe some like screenshots over here do you like my interpretive planner dance but if you can see these labels I mean it could not be like more kawaii suit world and I absolutely love them I freaked out when I saw them I love them genuinely so much and by the way this is the planner if you haven't noticed already I'm gonna show you guys how to make this palm leaf cover I know this palm leaf design is super popular now and like all the kids are sporting this on their notebooks and I just became 40 years old anyways though, this is super cute I think it's got a nice little palm leaf vibe to it and then I'll also show you guys how to make this cover I think this one is super cute too and you can just like slide it into the front there super bright and colorful but still very modern looking so I'll show you guys how to do both of those covers along with all of the insides of our planner this one is really nice because then you can just put your pens in here and then I'll show you guys how to make this monthly divider page super simple and yeah overall I just had like genuinely so much fun making this video and I can't wait to share with you guys some organizational tips I know that having a planner is essential in school and it just helps you really balance out school and extracurriculars in high school I did like a good amount of different things so I had like YouTube and ballet and key club and volunteering volunteering and key club all the same thing so there's definitely a lot of things to juggle but I will definitely be sharing with you guys some of my tips to keep it all in order and without further ado let's get started so to start off, of course, you're going to need your little binder. They make these in a ton of really cute patterns. So there's this floral one. They've also got a damask one and then just the plain colored ones. Today, I'm gonna use a white one and I'm just going to cut a piece of paper that fits inside the binder. That's gonna be a little under seven by nine inches. And then once I know that fits, I'm just going to grab some black paint and then you guys know I love my grid patterns. So I went ahead and painted on a grid. You can also use a Sharpie too and that'll be a lot faster. I just like the hand painted look of it. And then you're just going to let that dry completely. Then I'm also going to do a really simple color block with this. I'm just grabbing some hot pink paper and I'm just going to glue that on the front. And then I'm also going to grab my gold glitter washi tape and just add that along the bottom. That's going to be kind of like our little divider there, adds a little bit of sparkle, which I always love. Then I'm going to grab these stickers that I just got from Michaels, and I'm going to pop on a 2017 little friend at the, at the bottom there. <laughs> and now our super simple, bright and colorful cover is finished now. I think this one is super cute, but still very clean and modern looking. Then for the side binding, I'm also going to make this little... This little guy, I don't know what to call these things, but I just printed out my name and the year. I'm just going to glue that on the side. Then I'm just going to scoot this into the side binding. This is a lot easier if you stand the binder up on its side like that, and then you go little by little, and then it's no problem. I think this one is super cute and I love the design, but if you're more of a minimalistic kind of girl, then I've also got a pattern for you too. I actually bought a bunch of different tropical graphics off of Etsy, and I'll have it linked down below, but one of them that comes in the set is these palm leaves, so I just went ahead and printed these out. And then once I had them cut out, I'm just going to glue them to my marble paper. This is actually some marble contact paper that I just taped onto some plain white paper, and I will also have this marble paper linked down below too. So I'm just going to glue these on with some wet glue. And then I'm also just going to snip off the excess now. I like to have that overlap off the edge, just adds a little bit more dimension to it. Then I'm gonna stick on my 2017 stickers. And then I also wanted to outline these. I started off by painting around the outside, but then I realized that was really a bad idea because that takes absolutely forever. So I just went with a Sharpie instead. And then I also decided to outline the little like leaf holes in the center so it looks like I actually cut them out. And now our minimalistic cover is finished. This one is super cute. I don't know which cover I like more, but I ended up sticking with the minimalistic one for now. And then I also slipped in a black binding. And this is super cute. I absolutely love how it looks. And then we're going to make one last little paper crafty thing, just a monthly divider page. So here I just have some marble contact paper. I'm just going to stick this to some teal paper. 
I really like doing the teal because that way the back side is all colorful. I'm just going to stick down my paper. You want to make sure you trim your marble paper a little bit larger than the 5.5 by 8.5 inch sheet protector, and that way you don't have to worry about applying it perfectly straight. You can just trim it down afterwards. So I'm just doing that now. And again, that is 5.5 by 8.5 inches. And then I'm just going to glue down some gold glitter paper. And then I'm also going to add on my little month stickers. And now our cute little monthly divider page is finished, so now I'm going to slide this into one of my Avery sheet protectors. And by the way, I'll have all of the Avery products that I'm using in this video linked down below. And now it is time for our stickers. This is the best part. I absolutely love the different Avery designs that they have. They are genuinely so cute. I freaked out when I saw them. So to print off your stickers, all you gotta do is head to the Avery website, then type in the product code that is on the package, then select design and print online, and select the product that comes up. Then here are all the different designs. I'm just going to choose this one for now. Let that load up. And then here are all of the different designs that come in this set. These are so cute. I could not have designed cuter stickers myself. Not that I'm good at graphic design or anything. But anyways, I just love these stickers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and print these now. And you can also save it to your Avery account so that you can reprint those stickers whenever you like to, which is super convenient. And then it'll generate your PDF, so just open that up. And here is your PDF all ready to print. So you wanna go to File, Print, and then show details. And for these smaller labels, you want to make sure you select 4 by 6 That's just a photo size, by the way. And then just hit print. And you are good to go. Look how cute these turn out. I absolutely love these. And I printed off so many designs because you can never have too many stickers. And I also printed off these custom little Kawaii Suit World stickers because you can definitely customize these however you like to. And I just, I printed off so many guys. They have designs for whoever, whatever kind of person, and I am at a loss for words. I just love these so much. They've also got some adorable ones for 8.5 by 11 sheets of paper. This is just their sticker paper, so you can just print these out and then you can cut out your stickers, and they are so cute. I love these. It's kind of like having your own washi tape. And here you can see is some more designs. They've also got these square stickers. I love them. Oh my gosh, guys. These, I, I mean, I just freak out. Oh, I also had to bring back the Hello Kitty labels because these are super cute too. And then you've got some more rectangle ones and some more rectangle ones. And overall, I just had so much fun printing out these things. I absolutely love them. Once you have all your different labels printed out, I recommend sorting them into different categories. Here I just sorted them into school and life. And I just popped those into the Avery binder pockets. Then I'm also going to decorate these. This is a sticker paper little guy that I've got here. And I'm also going to pop on a square sticker. And I'm going to repeat that for my school one as well. And then we can start popping things into our binder. So you can see I already have the monthly divider tabs in there. And I'm also going to place in our month page along with the Avery monthly calendar pages. Then I'll pop the pockets in the back so I have access to my stickers. And now we can start planning. I'm gonna start off with the monthly view here. So I'm just going to write in the month and the year. Then I'll start writing in the dates. And then I like to go for the recurring activities. So for me, it was ballet every Tuesday and Thursday, along with key club meetings every Tuesday. And then I can start using these stickers. These are so much fun. These are great because they really add a lot of color and they catch your attention. Not to mention the fact that they make planning your month out so much more enjoyable. They really make you look forward to all the different little things in your month. And that is our monthly spread. And now we're gonna go over to our daily spread. These guys come in the same pack as the monthly calendar pages. And it's going to pop in five for the month. And then I'm simply going to start planning out my schedule and adding in the different stickers. It's pretty simple and straightforward. So while these clips roll, I also wanted to give you guys some quick organizational tips. First one is of course, cute stickers and things like that can definitely get you excited for the week. They just make a busy schedule look so much more appealing. And then on top of that, if you color code things and take advantage of that, it's also just a lot clearer to look at your schedule and just get a better sense of what your week is gonna look like when everything is organized and color coded. My next tip for you guys is specific to this planner, but you don't always have to follow the timetable. This planner goes from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., but on things like weekdays when I'm mostly just in school, I do like to just it as a to-do list and I find that really helpful and then over on the weekends it's nice to actually use that timetable just because my schedule is more open. 
Another tip for you guys is to plan deliberately. And by this, I mean really set a time to plan everything out. I think that Sunday night is a great time to do this and just think about what's going to happen in the week. So I just like to make a list somewhere, maybe on a piece of scratch paper, and then I'll transfer all of that information into my planner just so I can figure out exactly where everything is gonna fall so I don't have to worry about forgetting any type of paper or activity or anything like that. And then a final little quick tip for you guys is to write everything down. If you remember something that you have to do, I really like to write it down right away. That way it's not just floating around in my head and stressing me out. It's on a piece of paper, it's out of my brain so that I can deal with it in my timetable or in my schedule. And it's not just like something that's nagging in the back of your head. With all of these different tips, I would say that just my overall planning philosophy, I guess, is that having a lot of things to do doesn't mean you have to be stressed about it. It just means you have a lot of different things to do. If you use your time wisely and schedule out all of your different obligations, you don't have to be stressed because you know you've blocked out a time for every essay, email, or whatever else life throws at you. And here is just another weekly spread that I did just of a typical week in my life. And now just one final flip through of our planner. It's really nice because you can store the pens in that pocket. You've got your monthly section and your daily section. I also added on some different Avery tabs for the month and day, just so you can flip to your current page as fast as possible. We've also got our adorable stickers in the back that you guys know I love so much. And that is our gorgeous Avery planner with two different cover options. Perfect to get you set for a super productive 2017. All right, guys, our custom planner is finished now, and I think it is so cute. I just think it's so much fun to like DIY your own planner, especially just making your own covers and things like that. And I'm also really curious to hear which cover you guys like more. Do you like this palm tree guy over here, or do you like the more like bright and colorful hot pink and gold one? I honestly like them both. I really like grid prints, of course, but then I also like, you know, what's what's trendy these days and just Tumblr kids and I'm 30 years old. But yeah, I just think that they're super cute and it is a fantastic way to get organized for the new year. And once again, huge thank you to Avery for sponsoring this video. They are just honestly so much fun to work with. I always love seeing what kind of products they have going on and just like experimenting with them and putting my own twist on them and stuff. So yeah, big thank you to Avery for sponsoring this video. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for lots more videos in the new year. You can also follow me on social media at Kawaii Sweet Eats and then check out my website over at Kawaii Sweet World. Com, and I will see you very soon. Bye guys.